What's up everybody, I'm Miranda with REI. Your climbing rope is quite literally your lifeline when you're on the wall. So let's talk about when to retire your climbing rope. Retire your rope immediately if you take a huge fall on extreme loads. We refer to this as a factor two fall. You'll also wanna inspect your rope for any damage to the core or the sheath. If you find an area of your rope where the sheath is cut and the core is exposed, stop climbing on the rope immediately. This is definitely a sign that it's time to retire your rope. Another thing that you're looking for are any damaged sections of the core. You can check for damage by making a bite of rope. If the bite holds this loop shape, then the core is probably still intact. However, if you make a bite and it's easy to pinch the rope into a sharp bend, this is a sign that the core is damaged and it's time to retire. You're also looking for areas of extreme fuzziness along your rope. Sections like this might indicate that the rope is starting to wear out, so you'll wanna watch these areas closely. You'll also wanna search for areas of stiffness in your rope. This could indicate that the sheath has separated from the core and bunched up so much that you don't have as much flexibility or pliability in the rope. I recommend inspecting your rope before you go climb, preferably before you even pack your bag to head out to the crag. You'll inspect your rope by running the entire length of rope through your hands like this. You're basically feeling for sections where that sheath has separated from the core. You're also looking for areas where you might have any cuts in the sheath, again, where the core is exposed. And you wanna check for areas where the core might be damaged. If you find a spot where the sheath is looking a little bit fuzzy or is snagged, you don't need to worry. This is normal and this will happen from just typical use of your rope. If you do find a section of your rope that is damaged and it's close to the end of the rope, there are ways to remove this section from the rope and still climb safely with the rest of it. If this is something you feel comfortable with, then you can go ahead and do that, but it's a good idea to continually watch your rope and know when it's time to retire. One recommendation that I was given was to inspect my rope when it was brand new, fresh out of the package before I'd ever climbed on it. This gives you a good idea of how a rope should feel. And then if you inspect it every time you go out to climb, you'll start to recognize where these areas of damage are along your rope. You can also keep a log book that records how often you've used your rope and how many falls you've taken. As a general guideline, if you're climbing once a week with your rope, you'll probably want to replace it every year. Ropes have a shelf life of 10 years, which means that if you never climb on them, you still need to replace them after 10 years. Once you've decided it's time to retire your rope, you don't need to throw it away. There are a lot of ways to reuse or recycle your rope safely. One option for this is to make a rope rug. There are lots of cool patterns online that allow you to weave or coil the ropes into rugs. You can also make dog leashes or dog toys, which is what I did with my old rope. So this is a monkey fist knot that I tied. This is a dog toy. And then this is my dog's leash, which is also made out of an old rope with figure eight knots tied on the end. There are also some manufacturers who will actually take back old ropes and recycle them for you, as well as some organizations around the country that will take donated ropes and turn them into dog leashes, toys, or rugs to then sell them for charities. So don't throw your rope away. Look into some DIY projects or look into donating. Once you've decided it's time to retire your rope and get a new one, come into your local REI and talk to the experts there. They'll help you pick out the next rope for your adventures. See you later.